Hari, I am Nitin and today in this PSLE 2018 Paper 2 question series, I'll be going through question 11. In my channel, I aim to help all of you master all those concepts out there, okay? So let's jump straight into question 11. So this over here is question 11 and it's testing us on graph and rates. So let's read the question. The graph shows the fare a taxi company charges for the first 10 kilometers. So here's the graph. And part A, how much is the taxi fare for the first kilometer? So before that, we need to find what does each line represent, right? Because we do not know that. So I've always told you that the first step is to take the first two numbers and minus each other. So I'm going to take 6 minus 0 is still 6, okay? After that, now that we've found the difference, we need to find the number of gaps. So there is one gap there and two gaps. Okay. One gap, two gaps. So we need to take the difference divided by the number of gaps. It will give us three. Okay. So six divided by two it is three. So first, we know that the line represents three, right? So let me erase all of this and let me label everything. So since this is three, it's basically the three times table. Three, six, nine, twelve. 15, 18, 21, 24, 27, 30, and 33. Okay, so I hope you understand this so far. So now let's move on to solving for part A. So basically, they are asking us for, see over here, they are asking us the taxi fare for the first kilometer. The first kilometer is over here. So I'm basically going to draw a line Okay, so the first kilometer is actually connected to $3, right? So just like this two kilometers, it is also connected to $3. So the first two kilometers is $3, the fare. Okay, but they are only asking us for the first kilometer. So the fare is actually $3 only. Okay, now for part B. Wei Ming paid $6 for his taxi ride. What was the distance he traveled? Okay, so they are telling us that he paid $6, right, for a taxi ride. So they are asking us that what was the distance he traveled. So basically, we have to do the same thing for this question by connecting each other, okay? Okay, I think for this, we are lucky because this $6, km, this $6 right, is actually already connected to it's already connected to a line. So it actually gives me $4 over here. Wait, sorry, it's 4 kilometers. So the distance you travel is actually 4 kilometers. Now to solve for part C. How much does the taxi company charge for every kilometer after 4 kilometers of travel? Okay, so every kilometer after 4 kilometers. So they are basically telling us beyond this so from this how many is it per kilometer per kilometer we do not know the charge okay so this is what they're asking us so there are actually two ways to solve this there's actually three ways to solve this so we don't actually know what is five right but we know what is six connected to so 6 is connected to $15, right? 4 is connected to $6. 8, 8 is connected to 8 is connected to $24. And 10, this guy over here, 10, is connected to $33. Okay, so I basically want to write down the values. So 4 is 6. 5, uh, we do not 5, we do not 5, so 6 is 15, 7, don't know, 8 is $24, 9, we do not know, 10, it is $33, okay. So, for part C, the method 1 is basically to take the difference of this 4 and 6. So, 6 minus 4 is 2, right? After that, I'm going to take 15 minus 6, so 15 minus 6. Divide by 2 because there's two gaps here. So in order to find one line, which is each kilometer, is basically dividing by two gaps, it will give me one line. So 
when I divide by 2, you give me $4.50. So, each kilometer is $4.50. So, the second way is to take this 8 and 6. So, 8 minus 6 is 2. After that, I'm going to take 24 minus 15, which is $4.50. So, divide by 2 as well, in order to find each kilometer. After that, method 3, I'm going to take 10 minus 8, okay, 10 minus 8, which is giving me 2. After that, I'm going to take 33 minus 24, divide by 2, and it will still give me $4.50, which is the answer, okay? So $4.50 is the answer for part C. So I hope you understand my explanation for this question, question 11 for part A, B, and C. And I hope you understand my explanation. Thank you and bye-bye. I'll see you in my next video. Bye!